Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my newest video. Today we're talking about the whole Ke Kelly Marie Tran situation. If you don't know, she's the actress who plays uh, Rose from the Star Wars: The Last Jedi, and a lot of people didn't like her character. I I'm in that camp that actually liked her character so much, so I got a Funko Pop of her, but. There's people that don't like the character, and that's perfectly fine. You don't have to like the character, or like the movie for that matter, or like the director, or how it was shot, or written, or produced. That's perfectly fine. You earn your right to feel that way. That, that's, again, that is your God given right. However, when it's wrong to do, it's personally attack said actor or director because you don't like the film that they made. Look. It's perfectly fine to be critical of stuff. Hell, especially with Last Jedi. Hell, with Last Jedi, I did. I was very critical of it in my um, in my review on on my channel. If you want to check it out, go ahead. I did two videos talking about the movie and talk about the flaws in the movie. I did like two videos worth. You can watch after this video, but there. But there's there's, there's a certain line that we shouldn't, as people, we shouldn't cross. But of course, this being the internet. We're you know being habitual line stepper, line crossovers or line steppers. They constantly break that rule because um, just because people didn't like Kelly's character, Rose from Last Jedi, though personally harassing her, saying racial slurs about her Asian ethnicity, um, you know, saying she's a terrible actress, calling out how her weight, like you know, saying sexist things. Uh, her being a female, just terrible things overall in general that no human being should go through. It's ridiculous shit, and I, I shouldn't have to say this, but Rose is not a real character. She's just a character, you know. Kelly's playing a, a, a role that that was that she was following orders from from Ryan Johnson. Be mad at Ryan Johnson, but again, but don't insult and personally attack the man. You can be critical of the film. You can like not like the film's writing or action or characters, but when you are personally attacking the people, just because they're doing their job, is ridiculous. And it's not just movies; it's even um, other things I've noticed. Like when it's a while back ago, but I'm bringing this up just to prove my point. Um, when Final Fantasy 15 and No Man's Sky got delayed, so the game. So developers have more time to work on the game. Those teams got death threats. I'm not even kidding. You can look it up yourself. They got death threats because of the because the game got delayed. It's the most unbelievable shit. I know you can look it up. I'm not even kidding. It's 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 ridiculous. I mean, just because a game got delayed, you're gonna send them death threats? Like what? You want the game to be a buggy fucking mess? Come on, man. This is like what is wrong with you? You know, back when you know in my generation, we were like, oh well. That sucks. What else is going on? And we move on. We don't like. We don't linger on shit like that because it's not important. Life is, life isn't all about games and stuff. Sometimes inconveniences happen in life, but you don't fucking like. How fucking dare you delay the game? I'm gonna kill you and your family. It's like, what kind of what kind of way of thinking is this? Hell, a more recent example. This is an anime called Darling in the Franks, and um, I leave the female characters, a blue-haired girl named Ichigo. I, 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 haven't, I haven't seen it because I didn't want to, like, spoil it for me because I want to wait till the anime's done so I can meme Koopa can marathon through it. But apparently she did something really, really bad. Her character, not the actress, the character, did something really, really, really bad and hateful to the point that the actress that played the character Ichigo on Darling the Franks uh, got death threats. And again, I'm not kidding. You can look it up yourself. I'm not even joking because he was... Facebook and Twitter was all everyone was talking about it, and I'm like, I roll my eyes. I'm like, do you do realize it's, a, it's just a show, right? This is not real. She's just playing a character, doing her, doing her job. And what makes it funny? The following week, the shit got resolved. So her being a douchebag character that got fixed. And I know they didn't change it because of her, because these shows go months in production, so that you know, in advance, so that way they can you know, get on air. So that so so that was planned from the jump. My, my point my point of that conversation is that they plan it from the jump for her to do a mean thing but then she realized what she did was, she, was wrong and then goes back to how, how she originally was so that was planned from the jump so all this death threat and this shit was was a waste of time and pointless I bet y'all feel like fucking idiots 
We, we are grown ass people. We have to be better than this. If you don't like, I can, look. Let me give you an example. Bokugo is a character from My Hero Academia. My Hero, yeah, My Hero Academia, and I can't stand that character. I hate his character to death. He, I, 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 when he dies, no tear will be sh will be shed from me. But I don't hate the actor. I'm not gonna personally attack the actor because of how he betrayed this character. Because that's how he's supposed to be betrayed. If anything, I applaud. I would applaud him because he's doing an incredible job. He's like, he, he, made, he, he makes me want to hate the guy. And he's doing a good job. He's he's doing, he's doing great his job. He makes me want to hate the character. And he's, that's, that's his job. Thus, he succeeded. But I'm not going to personally attack him. You should go to hell, you piece of shit. Hope you rot in hell and get raped by all the demons in, in hell while you're there. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's ridiculous. No one has separated shit. You know what I'm saying? That he's just playing a character that he's being directed how to play as. That's his instructions. Be an asshole. Okay. Gets a check and move on. I mean, if you don't like a character, that's fine. Have discussions. Be passionate about it. You know, but be civil too. But don't attack the actual person that's playing the character. I mean, I shouldn't have to say this. There should be a no-brainer, like, no duck common knowledge kind of shit. But apparently people are so fucking stupid that they want to do that shit. We need to be better than this. I mean, I know, I know what you guys are gonna say. I know other people are typing right now. But Rocket and Blade, not all fans are like that. You know, there, there are some fans like that are, are mean and terrible, like the Deadpool fans or Rick and Morty fans. You know, Deadpool people, cosplay people. Some people, people be on, on the Deadpool side, cosplayers being jerks intensely because they think it's funny. Or Rick and Morty fans making that scene over the Szechuan sauce situation. <laughs> Which that was a situation that was on both both parties fault. McDonald's a hundred hundred thousand people retweeting that they wanted the sauce. How are you so unprepared for this shit? Shame on you. An example, I, Rick and Morty fans, you're not out of the woods either because you know how to act like that. You should. I mean, for God's sake, people are like selling their cars just to get some sauce. Which according to, according to I've seen online is a video on YouTube where you can easily make it yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like really. You know, all this for fucking sauce. You know, and is this Jesus Christ, man? Us as a fandom needs to get better because it, we look like spoiled assholes. You know what I'm saying? I want everything a certain way, otherwise we're gonna bitch and moan. I mean, Jesus Christ. <sighs> is this is, is it was like what this is this is our society now. Like if we don't like a how a character is written or, or, or acted, we're gonna harass, we're gonna harass the actual actor, even though they're just doing their job. You know, again, you don't have to like the character themselves. That's perfectly fine. But don't attack the person that played the character. They're just doing their job. That's how they're directed. Get mad at the studio. Get mad at the people behind them. Even then, be respectful about it. Because they're, they're human beings. They're not these mindless robots that just, that, just, that, just, that just take abuse. They're not punching bags. They're fucking people. Remember that. They are people. Be respectful. Be, you know, be critical, of course. Something wrong with being critical and wanting them to do better. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. Something wrong with wanting better, but be respectful about it. Don't disrespect or death threat or, or say racial slurs or shame them and shit. Because you're not you're not being constructive. You're just being a, an asshole. And I know it's not. And I know I know people are gonna say, but not all fans are that obtuse. There's trolls that want to get on the hate bandwagon, and that's true too. And for those people that do that, shame on you. You need to get a life seriously. There's so many better things to do, especially nowadays in 2018 with all the technology and stuff that's available to you and your, and your idea of fun is like fucking trolling someone online. Fuck you, you know? Fuck you. Jesus Christ. It, it screams I'm a virgin. You know? Jesus. You know? God. This is, I, I'm sorry for that harsh statement, but you get my point, guys. At the end of the day, you don't have to like Rose's character at all. You don't. You don't have to like. You don't have to like Ryan Johnson how he directed, um, the Last Jedi movie. But at the end of the day, be respectful about it. Don't personally attack them. Don't make fun of their race or their weight or not. You know, be you know be be you know critique you know critique you know be critical of their work. Say how they could have done better, but in a respectful manner. But if you just attack them personally and throw insults and, and, and say terrible things, I'm not going to listen. And, and yeah, and then, it, oh yeah, I didn't mention that. She left Instagram. I don't blame her. It's not the first time this happened. I remember Troy Baker, 
who's an incredible voice actor in this business, he also left Twitter because he got tired of all the noise. I'm, like, I'm done. I'm leaving. Because, you know, apparently I heard going to so people, Instagram is worse than Twitter, which, Jesus, Twitter, Twitter, and Twitter's pretty rough. I'm on Twitter, and that's pretty rough. So, like, I, 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 there's something worse out there than Twitter to the, this roar and aggression and, and, and aggressiveness. Yikes. I mean, I, I mean, I've been, I have an Instagram account. I've only been there here and there to see some, like, you know, cosplay pictures here and there, but, like, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I haven't been there long enough to see the, toxic, the toxicity of it. But I think all communities have their bad apples. But that's the problem. But I think, unfortunately, people are going to paint everyone in a broad, broad, you know, in a broad brush, saying, oh, all Deadpool fans are like that. All Rick and Morty fans are like that. I guess all, all Star Wars fans are like that. And even though that's not the case, there are good Star Wars fans that love and care for the product, that are critical of it and give you, you know, our, our opinions about it, how to, do, how to do it better respectfully without going to insults or racial slurs or weight or, you know, or whatever that's insulting and not critical to the product itself, you know? But that's, that's, just, that, that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we gotta do better, guys. We got to do better. Because this is downright disgusting. We have to do better than this. Kelly, if you're someone watching this, I'm really sorry this happened to you. You don't deserve that, sweetheart. In my opinion, I liked, I liked your character. You did a good job. You didn't deserve the shit, half the shit that was said to you. I'm really sorry. And you know what I'm saying? And for those of you that, that, that did that shit, fuck you, man. And grow the fuck up, really? Come on, man. Jesus Christ. What are we, five? We can do better than this, Internet. We can do better than this. <sighs> Alright, guys. Rant over. I had to get off my chest because, my God, seriously, this is... Wow. But, alright, guys. Hope, hope uh, Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I always love to read your comments. I'll read them as soon as... I'll, I'll try to respond to them as fast as humanly possible. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. As always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out. Have a great day.